Hi, this is Kenny, the co-founder of Broadstreet. Thank you for signing up. Broadstreet is an ad server that was built specifically for small and medium-sized publishers, those who want to create and run ads on their website but want the benefits of a fast cloud-hosted platform. So let's take a look at some of the concepts involved in a typical ad server. You'll find that if you're coming from another ad server or ad serving plugin, a lot of the concepts are the same with Broadstreet. The first one we want to talk about is an advertiser. Now this might seem obvious. These are the people who want you to run their ad on your website, and normally they pay you. So let's take a look at how you create an advertisement on Broadstreet. So the first thing we're going to do is go to the Advertisers tab and click Add an Advertiser. We're just going to give it a temporary name for demo purposes. And you can see that we have an advertisement section, and if this advertiser had advertisements, they'd be listed right here. And we have a campaign section, so if this advertiser was involved in any campaigns, they'll be listed here. And that's it. The next concept is that of an advertisement, or an ad. These are the images that you upload to an ad server, and they get associated with advertisers. These are also the ads that eventually land on your website. Let's take a look at how you create one of those. So if we want to create an ad from the advertiser page, we'll click this button right here, New Advertisement. And we'll get a list of the different types of advertisements that we can create. The one we want to create is just a standard, plain old ad, so a banner ad. And these are the ones that are typically on your site, where you upload an image and it gets placed on your website. A create and banner ad. So now that's created, we kind of have some placeholder information. We're going to click Edit Advertisement. So we're going to edit the name of this advertisement, and we'll just call it uh, New Advertisement. Now normally I like to add the size information and anything else that might be relevant in here. If it's a holiday ad, I'll say holiday 2013, uh, something like that. We also want to pick the URL that the ad will take the user to when clicked. And then finally, we want to upload the image for the ad. So we're going to click Save here. You can see we uploaded the ad. Now you probably have areas on your website designated for ads. Those are called zones, and other ad servers sometimes call them slots. Let's take a look at how you create a zone in Broadstreet. When you create a zone, you're going to get a special code back that should get placed in the code of your website where that ad should appear. Sometimes it's helpful to have a programmer take care of this. So now we want to create a zone on our website where this ad will go. So on the zones tab, we're going to click add a zone. So we're going to call it right sidebar. Now we only want to create zones once, and this is something that you would do when you first start using a new ad server, and you won't do it again after that. So anything else? So we're going to click down here. So now that we created the zone, we can click get ad code. Now this is the code right here that we want to paste into our website. So it usually helps to have a programmer do this, but this is the code that would go in the head of your page, and this is the code that would go wherever the ad zone should be placed. Now if you're in a hurry, you can paste both, both of these at the same time. So we're going to jump into our example website, and you can see we don't have any ads on this website right now. But in the back end, and if you're familiar with WordPress, uh, this will this may be something uh, you know how to do. And in Joomla or Drupal or other platforms, it's typically the same process. So we have our sidebar, and we're just going to create a text widget. I'm going to bring that up and place it in our sidebar. And we're also going to paste our ad code and get rid of that text right there. We're going to save that, and now we have the zone code on our website, and we have the zone created in the Broad Street backend. The next concept is a campaign. A campaign is a way that you make an ad appear in a zone in your website. Keep in mind that you can target multiple campaigns to a single zone. We'll show you how to do that next. So now that we have advertisers, an advertisement, and a zone, we want to place an advertisement in that zone. 
So we're going to click Sample Advertiser. New Advertisement. We're just do, going to do a quick campaign. So we'll say uh, Spring 2013. And I want to place that in the right sidebar. And if I want to control how long this ad will run for, I can edit the start date or the end date. All right, so we created a campaign, Spring 2013, and we're running the, the demo advertisement in the right sidebar. So now that we created the campaign, we're going to jump back to our sample website. I'm going to refresh the page. And you can see that the ad that we placed in the campaign, or the campaign that we created, places the ad in the right zone on the website. So as a recap, we have advertisers who have ads, your website has zones, and ads get placed in those zones via campaigns. Once you run through this a few times, you'll get the hang of it. Those are the basics of our ad server, and if you need any help, reach out to Kenny at BroadStreetAds.com.